subscribe to Serving It Raw. Yesterday's price is not today's price. Just make sure the coke fire. Told the jeweler cut some links and bring the gold higher. He wanna shoot it, he hot headed, he ghost rider. Send him through your shit like Robin Givens with the old iron. Swing it, fork in the glass pot clank. Holding the boat, they shit sinking. I make one brick two without blinking. They was sleeping, now I got them rethinking shit. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You done tapped into Serving Raw Podcast. I'm your host, Gutter Kane, the Gutter Main, the Pyrex Iron Shell. And I got a motherfucking special guest in this day today. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't seen this brother here, you know what I'm saying? You know, doing this thing with Militia back in the days. Or you might have seen him, you know what I'm saying, sped up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, on the hit song, Just a Baby Boy with Tyrese and Snoop Dogg. Or you might have seen him actually doing his acting with the best memorable lines from Baby Boy. Bitch, get off the goddamn phone and come on over here so I can drop it off in your draw. Damn. Wait a minute. You on the goddamn phone again? I want to welcome to <laughs> the podcast, Mr. Tan. What's going on, Big Dog? Man, long time coming, man. This thing right here been for long, man, on Serving Raw, man. You know what I'm saying, man? I'm just happy to be here with you, man. Whole lot of pack gang shit going on, as you see, man. You know what I'm saying? We coming. You know what I'm saying? If they don't know that, they do know, and they do know that. Yes. Shout out, Max Sean. Yes, 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 yes. Shout out to Pat Gang, man. Well, shit, we're going to go ahead and uh, hop into some of these questions, man, so my, my listeners and viewers can really get to know what Mr. Tan has done, man, and and, uh, and the fact that you being such a legend, you know, in, uh, in the rap game, um, you know, and just uh, putting some respect on your name, you know, and giving okay. you flowers, man. You know, that's, that's one thing I want to do is – uh, this podcast is about uh, interviewing veteran artists, giving y'all mm -hmm. y'all flowers, and you know uh, for everything that you've contributed. You know what I'm saying to hip hop, uh, especially what we call hip hop. All Appreciate right? that, big brother. Already, so yeah. it's absolute. It's a, let me say this real quick. Oh yeah, go it's ahead. It's an absolute honor to be on here, man. On serving raw, man, because you know what I mean. I come from the school where we serving them raw. You know what <laughs> I mean? Straight up off the dome. We was getting cracking with this shit, man. When nothing, when nothing written, when nothing recited, when nothing, nothing, we was going at it. So I appreciate that. I, I really uh, admire and love the name of your podcast, brother. I just wanted to tell you that. Already. Already. And yeah. That's yeah, let's get cracking, man. <laughs> so, uh, so, where, so where, for people that don't know, where are you from and how did you get your name? Well, I'm from South Central L.A., man, uh, um, by way of Long Island, New York. My father's in New York. My mother's here. So back and forth, my father was out here doing that, what they do. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, uh, they hooked up and linked up or whatever. My mother went to, um, I believe, Fremont. My father went to Locke, and they, they connected and made everything happen. And here I come. I'm tan. And Tan is the middle piece of my middle name, which is Nan Tan Boo. That's what people get confused. I'm like, this, this nigga black as fuck. I'm, a, I'm sorry, can I cuss? Oh, yeah, you can cuss. You can smoke, oh, drink. Hey, okay, yeah, so, hey, so Tan. Raw, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, like, I don't like to jump off like that, but it, it just flows so naturally, brother. But uh, uh, Tan is the middle piece of my middle name, which is Nan Tan Boo. Uh, in Swahili, that, that stands for strong and courageous. So N A N T A N B U is my is is my government middle name for those who don't know. You know what I mean? And Tan, I just took the Tan part, and they used to call me Tangerine and and all this other shit because I used to come to school with a Tangerine and whatnot. Uh -huh. And yeah, and um, once uh, me and uh, Miss Toy we developed. It was Mister Tan and Miss Toy. Of course, you guys know that her. First name is Toy. Yeah. My middle name is Tan. You know what I mean? So it made it made sense to us. Okay. And now when y'all two started out, now I want to know if this is true, so I can actually put this out here as a fun fact. Okay. As, a, as a duo, y'all were actually the fat pack. We are the fat pack. Okay, y'all are, are, are the fat pack. Fat pack sounds is the label pack game music is the entity. Got it. 
Okay. And then we have the pack gang now. So, oh man, it's gonna be so um dynamic if someone just want to plug us in the wall and get the whole everything of it. You know what I mean? Get the whole dynamics of it because me, me and Miss Toy, we've been cracking for a while. Initially, there was two other brothers with me. One name was K Born, or we call him Shaquan now. He's up out of um New Newark. Yeah, Newark, New Jersey. Where he stands now, Newark, New Jersey. But he's originally from the Bronx, um, New York. And then one of them was from Jamaica. His name was, um, what did we call him, man? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But yeah, but. Um, oh, no, shit, man. Uh, hey. Oh, man. His name was Mark Buchanan. I just put his government out there. I didn't want to do that. But, but let's go there. You know what I mean? So that's where it initially started back in high school. And then, uh, you know, Toy is, is is actually family of mine. She's actually knitted into the family whole realm. So me and her got with each other after high school and whatnot. And she went to Inglewood. I went to Losinger. And everything started panning out, man. And it's just, we became the, the fat pack, man. And it, and it, it okay. continues to go to pack gang music, man. And you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's how it initially transcended. Okay, then how did the militia, how did you, how did you, like, how did uh, you and Miss Toy become part of the militia and the single burn? Like, how did I? Well, again, Mr. Tan, Miss Toy, we were the fat pack. We we signed with Red Ant Records. I don't know if she told you guys this. And we did that, we did that as, as a collective. So we can have, we signed it with our own initial deal. Okay. Right? The fat pack. So we go in the studio. It's also another artist by, which is a great friend of mine, Lord G. He uh -huh. signed as well. And Lord G did the Above the Rim song, Gotta Get My Motherfucking Money Right, back when the Death Row was at his all-time high. And, and okay. he was a part of that project. And um, so me and Miss Toy, we went to go see Emmanuel Dean. Emmanuel Dean is the creator of the song Burn. And then Burn was already popping as a phenomenon a little bit. Everybody was fucking with it. And uh, and me and Miss Toy came and they stepped in that bitch, man, and we was like shining like white diamonds. And so was <laughs> Lord G. Diz and Devious, shout out to them. Them my motherfucker Sahabs. They they already had held their candle. You know what I'm saying? But we came in and um, I believe we we just created a different energy. We we gave them a different energy. Me and Toy stepped in that thing, and we stepped in the studio flaming. We absolutely. Pardon me. We actually came. We actually came in with Emmanuel Dean, and we went to visit Ice Cube, and we went to visit um Mac Ten. Toy went to school Mac Ten, by the way. Okay. Right? Ah. And Terry Carter, rest his soul, a great friend of mine, uh, ex wife of mine. Uh, her name was Kim, uh, Kristen, and her best friend was Kim, which is Terry's niece. So I had a connection with Terry who managed Mac 10 and Ice Cube and them at the time anyway, with the hoop banging records and all that stuff that Mac was doing. Okay. And uh, so I had a connection with him. So I had a connection with him. But fucking with Emmanuel Dean, we end up in a studio with Ice Cube and letting Cube hear Mr. 10 and Miss Toy. So Mr. 10 again and Miss Toy is the fat pack, right? Mm -hmm. So boom, we go, we playing music for Cube. He playing music back for us. He loving us. He want to fuck with us. He want to sign us that day, bro. I'm not bullshitting. If I'm lying, I'm done. Mind you, Toy went to school with Mac 10. Yeah. Mind you, my ex wife used to be with Terry's niece. And we all grew up and went to Northridge and all that, right? Mm -hmm. So when we end up in a meeting with uh, Terry Carter and me and Toy is talking, now we have these d different dilemmas on the table. We have, should we go? With Terry, should we go with Q? Should we go with the militia? Let's just go with the militia okay. and see what where the cars lay for us, if they may. You know what I'm saying? Because we dope as them. In our minds, we're dope as them. We just haven't had our shine. Got and it. it's just right yet. And so any, anyway, long story short, bro, we end up getting with, with uh, Emmanuel Dean. But like I told you, me and Cube and Toy... We sat in the studio and battled it out. If I'm lying, I'm dying. She'll tell you this shit right now. Oh, okay. Q right. played something. We played something. Q played something. We, and at that time, you know, we were smoking. So, Bernie, and we going. Yeah. And Q was fucking with us. But 
we decided to go with the militia so we can be our own entity. We yeah. want to, you know, create some, you know, a new West Coast vibe. Everything wasn't, you know, everything was khakis and chucks and all this all shit, the NWA stuff and that phenomenon, which was great. You know, I grew up in it. You you know, we all grew up in it. And um, but we want to be ourselves. Gotcha. So we went went the militia, bro. Long okay. story short. Sure. Well, yeah. no, I appreciate what y'all did with Militia, man. And and like I said, that single burn. I I pointed out to people that uh Kevin Nash, um, mm-hmm. when he was part of uh NWO and he, he started the Wolfpack when he was in um when he was in WCW, he actually wanted to use the original song Burn that y'all created. The intro. I never knew that. And I'm actually <laughs> as a kid, I was into wrestling. I just sneak into the sports arena and everything, bro. Yeah, so they was afraid that, they was afraid that they were running good, the copyright. That's good history. information. Yeah. And so they yeah. end up uh, having somebody rap. They redid the beat a little bit and then rap to it. But if you if you listen to the Wolfpack intro and the burn, you'll know they coincide. Yeah, that's where it came from. <laughs> oh wow, bro! You just you just hey man, serve them raw, goddammit. <laughs> you know what I'm I mean, serve them raw, man. You just serve me, man. I just learned some good shit, man. Oh yeah, but yeah, man. So so um. Uh, great um, counterparts of mine, Diz. Shout out him. Shout out Devious. Yeah. Shout out Lord G. Shout out Miss Toy. Yeah, uh, out we out. we combined and became the the militia. Got it, got Again, it. Diz and Devious originally, and Emmanuel Dean, and another great friend of mine who passed away had the song "Burn" already cracking. That was the management team. So, and then me and Miss Toy. We came in that motherfucking pooped on them. We came up first on that thing because we was already rocking around this West Coast thing. That's and, why uh, I had two different videos, right? Absolutely. The yeah, first okay. one that was that was in the five hundred. Yeah, had the cars and shit. Yeah, and the and shit. Yeah, okay. And then and then we came back and, and we did with um Ish, Ish is uh, from the Dig Over Planets. The lead the lead uh, rapper in Dig Over Planets. End up shooting our video. I guess he started getting into uh, center photography and everything and videos and stuff. And he ended up shooting our video, brother. Okay, shout out to them. He al- he also shot uh 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 who's the next MC to crumble? A lot of people didn't see that, and we had some shit, bro. So the militia we're lyricists, so we had some shit called who's the next MC to crumble. And Toy had went back to Chicago. I don't know if her granny or someone that had passed or whatnot, but or she just went to visit. But whatever it was, she went there for a little while and then I end up stuck in the studio now with over the group of guys that I hadn't even known. And we got it together, man, and we got popping, man. But I was like, hold up, because this is still my counterpart. This is my partner, man. I need my sis here with me doing what we do. And she came back and laid in that thing and she sang in that thing like Lauren Hill or somebody and wrapped in that thing like Nicki Minaj or somebody. I'm just throwing them names out because at that time and still today, she's amongst the greats of those people. Yeah. As far as why her vocab and her and her and her, and her um content and her um lyrical ability and her artistry or singing singing a bit of me. So yeah, man, I just wanted to say that, man. And we put that shit together and boom. Militia. They mended us together. We all signed in our own collective deals. Okay. So, so me did- and Toy, we signed as the fat pack. Yeah. Right? Uh-huh. Lord G signed initially as Lord G because he had the booming above the rim. And Diz and Devious were the militia initially. A lot of people don't know the whole in, the story in this entirety, bro. So you know, you know, it's actually good to be on here with you talking about it because people didn't really grasp that whole opportunity. But to, to keep it a hundred a buck with you, uh, fucking Diz and Devious, Diz came up with that burn, and we came in and the spit in that motherfucker, and, and and everybody that fucked with us on the West Coast in its entirety already kind of knew me and toy and we was rocking already oh, okay. you know like i said the burn thing was like like a bait area and then it it, it buzzed and, and caught a flame in in mississippi and different regions because my boy was just in, in memphis the other day and i swear to god he called me and he was at a skating ring and the dj was playing burn i said oh. so, hold on. So, so how did Do you know how, how long did... ago that was this was just two how, days ago how did the 
Now, how did the baby boy thing happen for you? Was it the movie first or was it the song? Well, initially, initially I got the uh I got the fucking um script. Okay. You know, me and Tyrese was rocking and rolling together. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I, I stayed with me and Tyrese. We stayed in Temecca at that time. And so uh I got the script. He had got, he landed the role because initially they wanted Tupac. Ah. Uh-huh. Right? Uh-huh. And and and, and 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 then they wanted Snoop. But Snoop was on the Up and Smoke tour, which Miss Tour was on too. Shout out to her again. Mm-hmm. And uh, but I was already rolling around the world with uh, with Tyrese. I had just got off tour with the Alcoholics because Tash is a great brother of mine. And and before that, I was with Exhibit and Snoop and them just moving because everybody fuck with me. I fuck with everybody. And uh, and uh, and and, and like, again, tour was on the Up and Smoke tour, so we was getting ready to shoot the movie. And John initially wanted Tupac, and I don't know, I don't want to get too deep into that scenario we kind of all know a little bit about it but uh snoop again snoop was on the up and smoke tour and i i originally cast it for snoop's role oh okay so you're yeah. supposed to run there first yeah okay yeah but because he was on the up and smoke tour okay. so john was in a press for timing and he needed to get this movie production on the go so anyway long story short i like to be in new york with my father and them and visit my father and my mom's Tosh out there, my stepmother. And uh and I when I come back, I don't sleep. So cause so I can sleep on the plane. So I might go out with you out there and I stay up and the time for the leave at four or five in the morning and I stay up so I can't sleep on the plane. I had the casting at that time. So boom, I come all the way back to LA. Mind you, I've been up bubbling and doublings with you. You know what I'm saying? I get there and I go to the casting. There's some cold shit. A lot of people don't know this story. I went to the casting with Kim Harding. She's also uh, a casting director for all the things John done, including Snowfall. And uh, I go in there. Mind you, me and Toy, I mean, not me and Toy, me and Tyrese had been number one turrets already. We've been kicking it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like heavy, living together, everything. And he had already landed the role. And so I go in there. And I'm so jet lagged that I say my role to you. Say you have the podcast and you watching your John. And Kim says her line to me. I say my line back and I totally drop the ball, bro. Oh, right. Yeah. I come back the following week because me and John and Tyrese are such great friends. We all in Miami, everywhere, kicking the South Beach. I done turned him on to some game and all kind of stuff, man, for those who know. <laughs> yeah. So he had me come back. He like, bro, now this time I come back with my hair out because uh-huh. I got braids. I come back with my hair out and, and I turn him neck. He said, you have the look. Caffeine, which is a great friend of mine, is in line in front of me. He goes and does his line. I go in and do my line. You talking about caffeine, my from, uh, caffeine from Menace Society? Absolutely. Absolutely, okay. bro. I go in and drop my people pants, don't know, though. If people hey, don't hey, know sir, caffeine, sir, bro, <laughs> it's a new sir, Jack bro, You got to hear this, sir, bro. Oh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. I just want to put that out I drop there. my pants. And remember, I told you, you got the, eye, the little iPod. You're filming me. You're John. Uh, and I run up to the camera in my boxers. At that time, we wasn't in briefs. We was in boxers. And run up to the camera and drop my pants. And he say, oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. And that's how I landed that role. And then, the, and then, and then the fast forward a little bit. We were uh, remember I told you I had the script, so mm-hmm. I got a producer named S Class. Well, S Class is is the number one producer from BMF. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. He had did the stuff with um, Jeezy, Fabulous, Blue Da Vinci. The okay. number one uh, was Blue I, Da Vinci. I, yeah, I know. And, but he was my number one producer here. Still is today. Okay. I still fuck with S Heavy, Hard Body. We do, we record probably three, four times a week. Uh, uh, me and S heard, I, well, I saw the script and me and S, I read over it and I actually wrote the song. And oh. so, boom, me and S recorded the song. And long story short, I was kind of cool with Snoop. See, I'm saying long story short, but the story is so big. Oh, no. Like, no, no I need no, segments you, of this. You, you summarizing it up for enough? So we go, we go, we go to the um, set 
and and while we filming Baby Boy, Snoop finally comes off the Up and Smoke tour. It's over, and he 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 agrees to take the role. So we're chilling and we're doing our thing. But I fuck with Snoop already because I fuck with Big C style and all these cats that's out of Long Beach already. So Snoop already knew me. Well, for some reason, he, I, I believe he thought I was from Long Beach, and I'm not I'm from South Central. So, so boom, uh, we sit in Snoop at the Escalade then. Escalade's are super big then. And, and we are playing some of my music and all that. And we say, we all decide collectively that we should do something for the soundtrack. Got it. Got and we do it. And I go up to Snoop House, everybody there, bro. When I tell you everybody, rest my brother's soul, badass, and Nate. And, and, and Superfly, and everybody's there. But Snoop has this one room. This is up in his house up in... I don't know if I can put that out there, but this is up in his house at the time. Okay. And then <laughs> he has two studio rooms, Fred Wreck. Everybody's there. But he has another room with Battle uh, Battle Cat and everybody. We go over here, and we hear the shit. And I ain't gonna lie to you, my, my nigga Snoop pooped on me right there. You hear me? But... Had this verse in the chamber because Battle Cat recreated a new beat. Ah, okay. Because I was about Guess to say, what I, I did. Battle Cat I pulled the verse back from me and S Class and ah, smashed man. on that motherfucker. And everybody loved it, man. I just wanted to tell you that, man. Every you, the first person, really got that. Oh God. Yes. <laughs> certain raw. This is certain raw. I gotta. T I'm telling you like it is. You my guy. Already. Shit. No, I appreciate you the first person who ever heard that in its entirety, bro. That's what's up. Cause look, my cousin Monster, when I told him how I was I was uh interviewing you, he was like, Man, he was like this whole time, he was like, Is Mr. Tan part of uh DPGC? And I was like, No. Nah. And he was like, Man, I I I he said, I was thinking that shit my whole life. And I was like, No, nah, he's not. But hey, but low key, but low key, but low key I am because they're my brothers. You, you know what I mean? Like I, I feel like I could have been one of the members from from uh, the East Siders because I'm off the East Side. I'm off 45th and, and, and San Pedro. That's what's but up. they in Long Beach. But yeah. still, I should have been one of the East Siders. Shout out to my nigga East Side K Boy too, man. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. You, Snoop, Trey D, Goldie Low, even if they would have threw in Jo Felony, that would have been a that would have been a hell of a fucking group. <laughs> hey, look, look, Glasses Malone. G Malone, you, you know I'm trying to look. I'm trying to. I'm trying oh, you to. You try to summer. You try to cap it up. Yeah, no, I'm just saying, like, just that, just that original, just those five artists, though, like right off top. Yeah, it would have been unique and shit. Cause y'all, y'all, and you know what's crazy? A lot of people when they hear Baby Boy, they thought it was Goldie, and that's a great friend of mine. Oh, you know what? Okay, I can see that. I don't know. I mean, me and Goldie wasn't... have a, a simple. Uh, voice, just a little bit, but I can still tell y'all too. Uh, a part though, um, is there any hip hop artists you'd like to work with, or any gene collaborations or anything like that? Because you work with a lot of artists. You know? Absolutely, I would like to work with all the greats because I think I'm amongst them. You know, what I mean, the Little Wayne's, the Drakes, uh, Little Baby, uh, even Baby. You know, with all the riff raft that he's been through, but um. <laughs> um yeah, man, I fuck with everybody, bro. I'm not, I'm not biased. If a motherfucker hard, he hard, and I know I'm hard. So you know, I serve him raw. So yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, hey, <clears throat> I'm at this point where I, I had, I have to ask all my guests this. So, uh, which is crazy because Mitchy Slick said uh, you have your uh, your top five favorites, and then you know the that's my that's 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 yeah. one of my niggas right there, man. I love Mitchie Mitch Slick. He, he'll tell you. I don't know if you got a chance to ask him, but he'll tell you I fuck with him. Oh no, 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 no. He no, he no, he he knew who you was and he and he knew who Miss Toy was. Like I went to like tell him and he was like, oh, I know, he's like, I know who they are. And I was like, no, oh, that's my guy. Like, that's my guy. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's from San Diego. I'm from yeah. LA though. So and I also got another uh uh it's another great artist up out of San Diego that I fuck with that that you know, he's felt to be mentioned some, but so fine. He's a part of the pack gang too. Already, already. You know, we don't like to call uh grown men's fine, but yeah. Oh, yeah. But, <laughs> yeah, he but, dope though, bro. Well, what is Mr. Tan's top five rappers? I would mm, I would have to say Pac one. 
Okay. Of the giddy up. Uh, Nas. Uh, cool G Rap. Scarface. Where am I? Three? That's four. No, that's four. That's four. Yeah. Um, Got one more. That's a, that's a hell of a list. <laughs> myself. Already. Because I, I've, I've yet to be recognized in that light. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it, since we're giving it to people that's that's above statue, above the bar right now, because uh, I got a list of them. Lord G, my, one of my cellies from the militia. Um, I will have to give it to um, shit, man. Eminem. Fuck it. Eminem. I ain't gonna be biased about it. That, that oh, guy no. is, is incredible. Shout Drake is Eminem. incredible to me. <laughs> Push your T's and uh, Kendrick. I mean, I, the list goes on and on for me. So, you know. <laughs> but, like you guys, they put it in the standard of having to have five. So, but I, I, I think I'm amongst them. I believe that. I mean, you, you I mean, I think any real MC is going to include themselves in that list and they have every right to do I didn't want to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry for me. I didn't want to. I want to not include myself. Yeah, I mean, but, but uh, you know, when we ask the question, if they ask the question a little differently, uh, what I grew up on and inspiring, it, it would have to have been the Pox and the Runs from Run DMC and, and um, uh, you know, what I mean, you gotta, you gotta pay homage, brother, as well. The Nazis, those are the people that I sat in the mirror when my mom told me to turn that shit down or turn it off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Scarface for sure. Yeah, I would have to, I would have to mention those people, but shit, there's so many dope people now. I can't, I can't just um, tag them like that because I, I'm an artist and and still an MC myself. Yeah. And 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 not only just the regular rapping, because we all can make regular songs, some of us. And we do have the um the smack rappers and shit that's dope and all that all shit. But I'm just saying it, it it's deeper it's deeper than rap to me. Yeah. Character, charisma, um, energy, uh, personality, um love. You know what I mean? For yeah. just the overall general people, and that and that that is what inspires me to be a great person. That's or what... the, my top five, Jada. <laughs> see, see what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I, I I can't leave Jada out. I can't leave. Yeah, kisses glasses <laughs> out. I can't leave glasses. Made a song about pop now, and people didn't understand it. People, he got a little uh, flashback for that, but. Yeah. I understood it totally. I was on the phone with him talking, bro, you need to do the next one about Biggie, and you need to do the next one about Big <laughs> L, and you need to, you know what I'm saying? I oh, ain't gonna lie, I'm, he, I'm, hey, I'm he different, should, though. Different. Huh? He should. He actually should. I'm a different individual, and Glasses is a great storyteller, as well as, as myself, that I could, <laughs> but since he had started, since he started that, that wave, uh -huh. I thought, he'll tell you that I told him that. Personally, I like, bro, you need to do one for them. And do, I mean, don't let nobody alienate you about what you're doing because you did it for that significant person. I mean, you know what I mean? I, I knew he wasn't being disrespectful in, in, in what he was dropping. I understood it. I've been a fan of G Malone since White Lightning Sticks. So I also, also, Taz is one of the illest motherfucking lyricists. Who? Tash from Alcoholics. Catastrophe. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Tash is hard as a mother. That's my brother, by the way. Just call me. And I told him, <laughs> he down here right now. Shout out to that I call. Could, I couldn't <laughs> get with him because I told him I had to do something with you. But that motherfucker, that motherfucker, what? Yeah, shout out I'm to just that saying. The alcoholics and the relatives don't get mentioned enough. So Exhibit. Yeah. Yeah. Exodus Saying these, these, these are my foolies. These are my my motherfucking. I I would call them relatives. You know what I mean? Or cousins, or distant cousins. But but it's so many people, and it depends on what 
you know, I think today we 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 categorize um, our five MCs off of the song instead of the person. Gotcha. Because you know, I'm just a great person overall, and I think that I that I I be spitting like a motherfucker. But it's the song that you dial into that what people say. Push a T. You have him up on your wall. He's one of them. Kendrick. No. Kendrick is hard. <laughs> J. Cole is hard. All the people, all the greats I'm inspired by. Lil Wayne. So I don't know. I don't really have a five. I got you. I got you. Well, hey, I, but, I do want to ask you this, though. What, what was the vibe like when you was creating Demeanor? Because that's your debut album. Demeanor. Like how was it? Demeanor is hard, bro. I know that's what I'm <laughs> you know, right? Oh, see, 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 damn, you just fucked me up, bro. You about to scratch my file because I forgot Rock. I forgot Rock Kim. Oh, Rock Kim. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, the God, the God MC. Yes, I forget. And not that I forgot him. Forgive me, but you feel me? Yeah, I got you. Yeah, man. I mean. But demeanor, demeanor came about through that, and Lord G made that beat. Lord G from the book, uh, got to get my money right for my group, the militia, and mm -hmm. all that. He made that beat. And demeanor is just is dope to me. You check out my demeanor. Because I believe people's demeanor make more sense than people's just character. How do they stand? How do they present themselves? How are, how are they just overall cool? Me and you, we, yeah. we, we dropped the ball. A little bit, yeah. You could have not, 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 not like me. I fuck with you because you fuck with me on that level. Because oh, really? we all under, we should understand that there are complications in life and there's a uh, 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 detours, and, and we do, and we do. I like, like, I swear to God, bro, I can see you up in fucking Africa tomorrow, and we gonna <laughs> hang the whole time. You feel me? So that's what I'm saying. Demeanor. That's okay. what demeanor is about. Hey, hey, it, it was a phenomenal project, man. And I and I wanna, you know. I didn't know you, I didn't know you was hip to that. Yeah, I've listened to your music. And like I told you, like, dude, I was literally, I'm a literally a hip hop head. Like when I was a kid, man, my dad was in the military, so he used to always go every weekend, he would take me on base every Saturday, never forget the shit. And he'll be like, grab a CD that you want. So mm -hmm. I would always at you know at the you know back then it was kind of all about the record labels like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying so I would you know pick like pick you know be like oh okay I ain't never heard this dude let me listen to it and then mm -hmm. I would try to get shit together based off record labels you know what I'm saying so if I had like all the job artists you know what I'm saying so mystical UGK E40 like all the job artists and then I got like all cash money all oh numbers. you oh you you got them in the box like that that's dope. yeah. Yeah, and then uh, a wall like I got Sibo, Pizzo, Lunasic before he was Lunacic Leon. Like, and then I studied. You just like, fucked me up. Sibo one of mine. Yep, mouth is one of mine. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, it's it's, it's very rare. Incredible. All right. Oh shit! Hold up, scratch my whole list. <laughs> I, that's what I'm saying. When people ask these people ask ask them those questions. I uh, believe we we're thrown on the spot, and yeah, without you know. without without enough time to intricately dialogue, uh, 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 or you know what I mean, grab it. Okay, well, in that case, then I should have said, "Which your top five favorite rappers?" Then instead of because there's a lot more stuff that comes in when you say just top five best rappers. Or yeah, five rappers. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I should have said who yeah. you listen to, and I like everybody though. Let I me say it. that because I want to fuck that fuck that up no more. He <laughs> forty, goddamn it. He would. You hear me? Well, That's hey, my well, big well, brother. I, I, I might have to backtrack a little bit because I got to ask this question though. Uh, when you when you played Chris and Baby Boy, was any of those lines that you said improvised or like were they improv any of them or or those actual lines? I think I think that's 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 a, that's a dope question, brother, because. The, the the bulk of them were improvised. Yeah, no, drop it off in your drawers was one of my my um lines. I had I had songs with me and S class again. And uh and uh uh 
Cause you said you you like got you need to tell your nigga. You need to tell your nigga. You need to tell to your nigga. Everybody yeah. love that part. Yeah. And, um, and uh, hello, lights on is on. Anyone home? That was a guy. I can't remember his name, but he went to high school with me, and he right. would say that. All the fucking time, you know, when you go to high school, you have you have these different intricate circles, mm -hmm. and then you have like, okay, so we have the senior square. Let's say that, yeah, okay. And the senior square, if you weren't amongst this crowd, me and you or whatever, mm -hmm. you weren't in this crowd. And my boy used to say that shit all the time. A lot of lights <laughs> on in my hall, and I, I hope he, I, you know, God bless. You know what I mean? But yeah. That was one of the lines. So pretty much, I damn near imp improv imp 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 all that, improvised all those words. Okay, so the line. So when you was like, "Come over here, so I can drop it in your drawers." Damn, that was not. That me. was me. Told you. Nope. <laughs> that was me. Told you. Hey, but John, but John, but John used to fuck with me with the hello and and, and all that anyway. And so John somehow wrote that shit in there. You had like some of the most memorable lines. I'm not gonna lie, dude. <laughs> everybody, everybody, tell me if if your if your scene was any bigger, you would have been out of here, yeah. like super out of here. Because you know Tarazi and Tyrese and all of them went on the catapult. You know, I I really do think they should have actually had had you in it because it took look it took me a while to connect it. I knew you from being on just the baby boy on the song. But now, well, let me let me let me tell you one thing. I'm not to cut you off, big boy. Oh, no, go ahead. Even they other song, even they other word that was big in the entire movie. You can go back and watch it with your wife tonight. They kept saying, "Please believe it." And I had a song with, and I did it with Tyrese. But that was one of my words as well. Please believe it. And and you heard you heard AJ Johnson say it. Yeah, I heard Jody. Start please believe it. it. You heard different people say it. Throughout the movie, that was me as well. That was my contribution to the movie as well. That's what's up. That's, That's what's crazy. Up. <laughs> All right. But dropping off your drawers, I'd have uh, uh, cats from prison and everything. I, I remember going to Roscoe's one day, and this one cat, uh, I guess he had just gotten out, but he had me come back to his car to meet his woman. And uh -huh. to, baby, did not this. I just told you I'm going to drop it over your door. Bullshit to the side, bro. Real facts, serving raw. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, <laughs> I, I, and I, I still get that wife. to this day. <laughs> I said that's still get wife, nigga. That shit funny as hell. I get, I get cats all the time tell me that they just that, that they just told their girl that. Yeah. That's dope. That's dope. So I, that lets me, and leads me to believe that if the fucking part was any bigger I was out of here bro and we actually did film another scene that we was in a strip club where I actually told on Jody you know I think my girl said it or his girl said it to yeah, her she, uh, she, Chris she said, yeah, Chris, yeah she said Chris saw you at the strip club yeah and we yeah. had that scene but they didn't, they didn't incorporate it but yeah big facts bro Oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. Okay, yeah. I just, I just, I was like, you know, let me go back see if he, if he came because I felt like, you know how some stuff sounds like a script, but some stuff like a person says it just sounds natural. It was, just, like, it was too natural. It was too yeah, natural. it was too natural. Yeah, for that shit to be like just like wrote in as a script and shit. You know, no, that shit was that wasn't scripted at all. Um, some of the lines were, of course, but for the most part, no, no. That's like we shot that scene, even, even, even. I'm gonna give you some more game that nobody got. Even at the dailies, the dailies is when you watch the film after we recorded it, right? Mm -hmm. So we watching this shit, and uh, and uh, <laughs> when I'm doing my little thing, a motherfucker Johnson jumped up on my boxers like this. <laughs> Ooh, kill him. No, <laughs> big thing. I'm trying to. I'm watering that, watering that down as much as I can, big brother. But yeah, yeah. But but that shit was live, man. And I had a great time doing that with John, man. Rest his soul, oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, right. shout out, man. Man, come on, grab your boy, man. Y'all know I'm here. But I also got a new movie. Well, I don't know if you saw it. It's not 
brand new, but it's, it came out about a year ago called Blood Sacrifice. It has caffeine, DeAndre Bonds from Snowfall, yeah, I know. Omar Gooden yeah, just... Jr., um, Megan James from Bad Girls Club, Glenn Plummer from South Central and Colors and all that shit. Oh, yeah, Glenn. And, yeah. and, and yeah, I'm talking shit. Man, man, shit bro. Yeah. Y'all go tune in to the Blood Sacrifice. It's on Tubi, Amazon Prime, and all that, man. Okay. Uh, uh, directed by Joker, man. Uh, uh, David Sullivan, man. Y'all, real fly shit. Okay. That's what's up. I'm like in the donkey in that thing. <laughs> <laughs> you hear me? So what what else are you working on, and uh and then and how can people reach you? But I really want to you know touch on what you're working on right now. I mean, well, one let me let me give a shout out to the Pack Gang, man. You know a whole lot of peace shit. The Letter Sixteen, man. You know what I mean? I'm doing that. I got a whole crew because I believe other people is not um uh, inquiring new artists or inquiring or bringing it amongst for the hug and the love and the plug. Um. So that's the pack gang. So it's Mr. Ten and the pack gang. We got that popping. We got a new single out called uh, I'm With The Shit. That shit hard. Y'all go tap into that, man, on YouTube, all the streaming platforms, uh, Spotify and all that. Um, but I just recently, like he said, dropped Raise That Way. That's hard. Everybody been telling me, like, God damn, Ten, I like how you kind of like twisted it and you gave him a little bit of auto. Matter of fact, Taz just called me a minute ago. He said, Ben. Hey, the name drop, y'all. I'm just telling y'all. But he was like, I, that shit is catchy. He said how you auto-tuned it, but then still gave him you, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? And all, all my friends been calling me, giving big love for that. Uh, the Pack Gang is out right now. Mr. Ten, new project is coming soon. I'm going to keep dropping singles right now because I think people fuck with you on a single level. Because uh, the, people's um, attention mental attention. is not strong enough for to keep <laughs> grabbing so much at one time. And then you got to remember, like, it's not like back in the day with New Edition and, and uh, Temptations and all that. It's so many artists, so many songs coming out. Uh, people, uh, attention span is not as strong. But uh, I got the other song, <laughs> Miss Toy, called High Up, off that session two, jumping and jumping out the gym right now. Um Man, y'all just pay attention, man. New single coming, man. She like me. Some more of the pack gang shit. I'm finna make them feel us and feel it, feel me. Uh, I'm steady working uh, on new projects and trying to get new movies going. And videos gonna drop all this summer, man. Serve them up. My boy gonna drop them for y'all live and direct. Who's all in pack gang? The pack gang, it, it's kind of hard to say. It's uh, hard to a, a significant. I'm, I'm gonna give you the initial. The okay. initial. It's myself. It's Cousin Sink. It's D Rich, also known as P.I. Folk. It's Fuzz Loco, J Mondo, Blaze the God, So Fine, about a uh, uh about a San Diego. But the Pack Gang is almost like like a people tell me I shouldn't say this because we like a dog panel, uh Wu Tang and all that. It's about ten of us. Eastside Boogie. You know what I mean? We, it's a lot of us. So I just want to incorporate something to bring. Miss Toy, I want to bring in um, a conglomerate of people and show them that it's not just about ourselves. And if we help, then maybe we'll be plugged in the wall a little fast. Okay. You know what I mean? Because so you got a collective and a movement going. I have a whole movement going, bro. Okay. And, uh, and people was actually fucking with it. Shout out to Young Baca and Baca Productions. I did a lot of shows there. They took us across the world, New York, or back to my home with my father over there on that side. My mother, he, again, is on this side. And, and, and people fuck with us, bro. I think something coming. I, I know something coming. Let me rephrase that. I'll be out there with my boy serving raw in a minute. You know what I mean? So I know something coming. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. But, yeah, it's a lot of us, though. Okay. I just wanted to, you know, get the initial uh... – Memory, Names. but yeah, you know, just you know, just so that as as people are listening to your music, because I know it's on Spotify, it's on Apple Music and stuff like that. Shout out Jersey Drex too. I forgot him, but like again, there's there's an initial handle on that, like you said. Sure. Yeah. Well, Mister Tan, I want to you know uh, before I you know before we before I let you go. I want to say, man, from Gutter Kane and Serving Raw Podcast, I want to give you your flowers, man. 
you know, for, like I said, everything that you uh, have and continuous to, you know, to contribute towards hip hop run and, and give us, you know, and so, uh, you know, you have been a, a phenomenal guest, bro, man. You gave me a, a lot of knowledge of, of stuff that I didn't know and I appreciate it, you know what I'm saying? But you you definitely deserve your flowers, man. And we're going to get it, you know, we wanted to get it to you. I want to give a shout out to S Classics, man, the, uh, the number one producer on the handle for the Pack Gang and Mr. Tim, man. Uh, Shout out also Ron Sizzle, you know Ron Sizzle and uh his group, uh Foot on Next. They did that that shit for um for uh Sway Lee and French Montana, the big Af African song that they had. That is phenomenal numbers on that. Uh I don't want to give too much, uh, but I want to say that to them. Shout out to my little nephew, Broke Boy. He coming right now. He real live, man. We'll be at the Lyrical Lemonade uh concert in Chicago on the 23rd. I don't know when it's going to air, but I just wanted to say that. He doing his, the, he doing his ducky motherfucking uh, fresh. Next month? Yeah, uh, June 23rd. June so yeah, so he'll be, we'll be in Chicago for the Lyrical Lemonade thing for a second appearance. And uh, I'm putting this again, out shout out S-Class, man. That motherfucker is dope, man. Everybody that don't know that, they do know, and they do know that. <laughs> yes, Lord. You coming, man. Yeah. Pack gang, man. What Thank you, you Hey, we serving them raw. Yes, Lord, serving them raw. Yes, yes you know. <laughs> Well, hey, yes, well, Lord. Uh, well, we tap. Like I said, I got your number, man. We tapped in and stuff, man. So you know, as stuff goes, you know what I'm saying. Build up our, you know, the friendship, man. And if you, you know, if you got anything else going on, just you know, let me know, and I, you know, I, you know, put it out, man. Especially if it's positive, you know, because that's and I already know, man. I see you do it already, man. Everybody, go tap in. And go uh pay homage to that raise that way single just dropped. New single be dropping in, um at the end of this month called She Like Me, Pack Gang Music. You know what I'm saying? It's my label, it's what we doing, and everything's up. Already. Shout out Miss Toy, man. The session is out now. Yes. Part two. Shout out to, yeah, shout out to Miss Toy, man. Thank you. She was the one who you know, made sure, like, hey, I'm going to tap you in with Mr. Tan. So I was like, cool, you know, because she didn't have to do that, you know, at all. I fuck with you, nigga. I'm coming <laughs> down there to fuck with you, you hear me? Already. Like I said, we locked in, man. It's, it's all love, baby. It's all love, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But yeah. I will, uh, but I'm going to let you go, man. And like I said, man, uh, I appreciate everything that you've done, man. And you deserve all, everything that you, all the success, man. You know, everything that you're putting out, bro. You know, just keep doing. Let me tell them this, man. If y'all don't know, man, at Pack Gang Music, yeah. at Mister Tan underscore official, uh, go like, subscribe, and share, man. The video raised that way, man. We, everything up already. All right, Mister Tan, man. You take it easy, man. Much love, and uh, I'll be in touch, man. God bless you, brother. Already. Peace. Just make sure the coke fire Told the jeweler cut some links and bring the gold higher He wanna shoot it, he hot-headed, he ghost rider Send him through your shit like Robin Givens with the old iron Swinging, fork in the glass pot clank Holding the boat, they ship sinking I make one brick, two without blinking They was sleeping, now I got them rethinking shit